Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We've been using the Cetus 2 printer from Tier Time for quite some time now, printing some random things. And some of the things have just been test pieces. Some of them have been uh, functional pieces for use in the shop here. And it's time to finally print something in two colors that we're going to use in the shop. So I'm gonna take you through the process of designing a piece and getting it to production here in two colors with the Cetus 2 printer from Tier Time. So let's dive in. Now, I will preface that I am not a hobbyist for 3D printers. Now, that may sound a little bit odd, but what I mean by that is I don't enjoy spending my time messing around with a printer, so I like printers that just work. I am very new to this, so if you're an experienced 3D printer person, uh, you may find that some of the stuff I'm talking about is fairly layman terms uh, and simplified and basic, and that's okay because that's all I know about these printers. I am not experienced. Uh, so this is a very rookie perspective of going through the process. So we did the review of the Cetus printer a little while ago. I'll put a link in the video description to that video. And uh, ultimately for a first experience on a printer, it was, it was pretty good. Uh, we do a lot of building of various aircraft here in the shop. So typically when we finish up an aircraft, we put our sticker on the inside, built by the lighter side of RC. And I thought it'd be pretty cool to do a nice little 3D piece that uh, is two colors, so maybe black on the base or white on the base, and then the, the lettering and stuff as kind of our, our little tag. And so that's what I'm gonna do in this video is we're gonna create that part from scratch. So we came up with our design in Tinkercad. Now I'm not an expert with Tinkercad, but it's uh, pretty cool to be able to use this. It's all web-based and uh, came up with the design fairly straightforward. Started off with a square, rounded the corners, added the holes, added the lettering, and uh, again, I'm a rookie at this, but this was my first crack at it, and it looked like everything was working out well. So we exported that to an STL file on the desktop, and from there, we opened up the UpStudio 3 slicer program, which is provided by Tier Time with the printer, and we went in and organized our slicer for our project. And one of the cool things about this is the paint function, where you can go in and change the colors on various items, change the depth of the colors, whether it's surface mounted. So it really opens up various possibilities for two color printing. And this is where all the magic happens in the slicer. We'll talk more about this later on, but designing the print is one thing, making it work 100% in the slicer is part two. All right, so we'll touch more on this, but it's taken five generations of screw-ups to get to this point right here. It looks like this print is finally working good. Now this is definitely not a fault of the printer. We'll talk more about why it takes this to get to that. So one of the features of the Cetus 2 is the on-the-fly switching. Now in this case, I ended up using a purge tower. Reason for the purge tower is when you're printing black and white, uh, it's very hard to hide that transition on something like this. Um, your print is gonna uh, vary a little bit. And I already had black and white loaded in the machine. So it looks like everything worked out very well with the print. This is exactly what I was looking for. Let's pop this guy off. Nice. Beautiful. That worked out good. So, now one of the things I've learned with 3D printers is you can design something like we did here in uh, CAD or whatever, but a lot of the magic seems to happen in your slicer program. So let's go over each one of these, uh, these prints and we'll kind of talk about what happened. Okay, so print number one actually worked out not too bad. This one uh, was fairly, I guess, straightforward. 
There were some things I didn't like about this print, like number one, the holes were too small. Uh, there wasn't enough support structure on the outside of the holes. Obviously a little bit of the weird black line stuff. Um, and then also the uh, of RC was filled in with white. So this was just my first print. I thought this overall, this entire piece was a little bit too small. Then what I did is I made the next one a little bit bigger. You can see the size difference there. So this one overall actually worked out okay. I didn't end up doing any color changes. I just wanted to see if it would actually work. Now, one of the downsides I had here is the perimeters had separation. So I'm not entirely sure why, but this one worked out overall a little bit, uh, a little bit better because it's just one solid color. The other thing with this one is you'll notice that the holes are gone. So I eliminated the holes just to eliminate that, eliminate that variable and uh, printed this without the holes. Next thing I did was take my original design, I moved the holes in, it shrunk the piece down, and we got even worse separation with the perimeters. The other thing is all the letters, something funky uh, happened there. So I think this is a result of me playing with the settings too much. So this was a, a complete failure. This is number three. Number four, I actually took my original design, completely trashed it, and started over. So this was uh, version number four, but a whole new design. So the lettering worked out better. Um, th this overall actually wasn't bad at all, but again, perimeter separation was terrible. So it just wasn't adhering the perimeters together properly. So it was pretty bad. Now I tried to make some changes on version number five and didn't really help. The perimeters are still bad. So I actually stopped this print before it even uh, got any further than, than this. So that kind of led to version number six, which is the one we just peeled off the printer. And this is the successful one. Now the color inversion, um, this is just the way it kind of happened for me. But so this is what I would call a successful print successful product. This is basically what I was looking for and uh, I'm happy with this. So it took quite a bit of time to get to this point, but success. A couple of the learning things that I've kind of figured out so far with this particular printer is this one here, I took everything off the slicer, closed the slicer, re-uploaded or, or re-brought re in this uh, 3D file and just kind of left it alone. I left all the settings, other than the color change, I left all the settings as they were from the just bringing this in. It seems like if you start messing with the settings too much, you can kind of screw things up. So um, this was fairly straightforward. So now that we have this successfully completed in the, uh, the programming and the slicer and it's on my SD card, now what I can do is I'm gonna print a second one just to confirm that everything works. So we're just gonna clean off our pieces from the last print. And I've kind of figured out that it helps to just make sure everything's clean. So I just always start with a clean bed. Seems to be quite helpful. And let's go in and print this thing. So we'll go into print. We've got a bunch of things that we have saved here on the card, but this is nameplate number six. Right there. And we hit print. So what you'll see here is it goes back to this screen, but our primary heaters or extruder heaters start heating up. The bed's gonna start heating up. And when these hit about 200 degrees, our print will begin.
All right, guys, and that wraps up our five steps, or I guess six steps, to creating our own two-color project with the Cetus 2 printer from Tier Time. Pretty cool to be able to use this printer, uh, learn on this printer, and be able to try it out. Thank you, Tier Time, for supplying the printer to the shop here for us to be able to use this. Very appreciative of that. So if you guys want any additional information on this printer, there's a couple links down below in the video description and also the first comment in the video that will take you to some great pages and also possibly some discounts for this printer. So thanks guys for watching. Thanks for tuning into the video and we'll see you in the next video.